In this video, I will discuss how to use date time and calendar modules in Python. First, I will demonstrate how to extract today's date and time. Next, I will demonstrate how to extract the individual components of date and time like day, month, year, hour, minute and seconds. Finally, I will show you how to extract a weekday day name and month name so first uh, we will import the two uh, libraries in this case uh, or you can say that the modules the first one is uh, date time this is the first module uh, i will give an alias name for this one let us say that d so wherever i use uh, any function from uh, date time i will use d dot something so second library or a module is calendar so what we do is uh, again we will give an alias name for this one let us say that c so next uh, we need to extract uh, the today's date and time so first i will show you how to extract it let us say that print d dot date time there is a function called as date time within that there is a function called as now so if you use this particular function i will be able to get the current time as well as date both the things so if you see the output uh, it's, it shows that uh, the first part is uh, the date and the later part is uh, the time in this case so 26 4 2020 is the date uh, 16 0, 7, 21 is the uh, time now the same thing can be done with uh, one more function uh, like uh, we can use rather than using now we can use today also so if i do the thing I will be able to get the same output here also. Now my intention is to get uh, what we can say that uh, day and uh, date and time separately. So how can I do that one? So if I want that particular thing to happen, now I need to use a date to this one. I need to call one more function which is date. So if I call it, I will be able to display only date part of this particular uh, output. Let us say that I am not interested in date, I am interested in time. So I need to use a function called time in this case. So if I do that, I will be able to display only the time part of this particular uh, output. Now the next thing is uh, I'm interested in uh, what is the next thing? Uh, day, month and year, individual components I want to extract. So how can I do that one? Uh, there are some different uh, possibilities. For example, I can use directly a day. If I use day here, I will be able to get the day of that particular uh, date. So day is 26. So that is what uh, I will be able to get. Let us say that I am interested in month. So I can use month here. So I will be able to get the month number. If I am interested in uh, year, I can use year here. So I will be able to get year. Similarly, if I want uh, hour, I can use uh, hour and then I will be able to get hour component this h should be small case similarly if you want uh, the minutes you can use uh, minute function you'll be able to get the minute part of it and if you want seconds you can use second so this is how actually you'll be able to get the different uh, components of that particular output there is another way to get uh, uh, the similar output like uh, rather than using this particular individual components and so on um, that that's like day month and year hour minute and second we have something called as format specifiers for that reason we need to use a function called as strf time so this is the function i need to use i need to pass some parameter to it for example percentage y i will pass so if i pass percentage y it will display you the year with the same note uh, if I pass, uh, let us say that percentage uh, small m, it will display, uh, you can say that uh, month of that particular uh, date. So this the month is April, that is uh, 4. Similarly, if you want, uh, uh, you can say that a day, you can use D here. And uh, if you want uh, hour, you can use capital H, minute capital M and uh, seconds capital S. Sometimes what I want is I want to display uh, year and month both so what i can do is i can use uh, any anything as a separator and find followed uh, followed by 
percentage small m which will display you month as well as uh, year in this case month year and day i want again i can use percentage d here so year month and day all three things were displayed in this case sometimes what i want is i want uh, it should be separated and then uh, i want day uh, time should be displayed for example percentage h which will display you hour percentage uh, capital m which will display you minute percentage yes will display you second in this case so this is how actually i'll be able to display uh, the hour minute and uh, second components as well as uh, day month and year components individually now sometimes what i want is uh, i want to know what is the uh, can uh, day of a week or can say that the month name or uh, we can say that uh, week day something like that i want so in such case uh, what i can do is i can use this particular function okay so what what it will do give you it will give you entire uh, day month year as well as uh, time entire component will be given to you i'm not interested in this thing i am interested in uh, what is the day number what is the day number here days uh, day in a month is 26 day in a week i want i am not interested in 26 i am interested in what is the uh, week day so in that case what i need to do is i need to use a function called as week day so if i use something like this i will be able to get 6 this is the sixth day of a week so that is what the meaning okay so sixth day but what is the day name uh, if monday is zero then definitely six will be uh, sunday in that case so i need sunday so how can i get that particular thing so you can get that thing uh, with the help of uh, uh, calendar function i cannot directly use this particular uh, week uh, num uh, week day name or something i cannot use that so i need to pass this number as a parameter to uh, what we can say that uh, calendar so i will save this particular thing somewhere you can say that uh, day number day underscore number which is equivalent to this one okay now what i do is uh, i have a function called as calendar uh, calendar day underscore name okay and then to this one i will pass uh, day number so if i do this one i will be able to get what is the day so what is the day in this case it is sunday so this is how actually i will be able to get uh, the day name so day number is what uh, so week day number is 6 what is the week day name that is sunday similarly if you want to get uh, uh, let us say that i want to know what is the uh, month name so in that case we somewhere we got what is the month number what is the month number here month number is 4 so how did you got it we got this part use this first particular function either you can use this one or somewhere else we have used one more function either you can use this function to get the week number so the month number so what i do is i will use uh, m underscore no that is month number is equivalent i will st store this one c dot month underscore name i'll pass uh, m underscore no to this one so that i will be able to get what is the month number in this case so this is how what we can do is uh, we can extract what is the week day name week day number month name month number and so on so this is a simple uh, demonstration of how to get uh, indiv how to get date how to get time how to get individual components and uh, how to get a week name and month name and so on so i hope uh, i hope the video is clear uh, if you like the video do like and share with your friends subscribe the channel for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching